10 Strangest Animals of All Time Animals are fascinating. They have their own ways of living, eating, and interacting with the world around them. But some animals are just a little bit stranger than others. Here are 10 of the strangest animals of all time. Komondor Dog the Komondor is a large, white Hungarian breed of livestock guardian dog with a distinctive corded coat. It was originally bred to protect sheep from predators and thieves. The breed was developed in Hungary in the 1800s by crossing the Borzoi with local dogs that were known for their ability to survive harsh winters. Today, the Komondor is considered one of the most popular breeds worldwide. However, it does have some health problems like hip dysplasia, a disease affecting joints. Glasswing Butterfly It is a species of butterfly found in Central America. It has transparent wings, making it look like an insect from another planet. This unusual insect is not common and can only be found during certain times of the year when there's enough rain to produce rainwater that nourishes plants around the roots of which they feed on nectar and other plant material. Angora Rabbit these are one of the most unusual animals on Earth. They are bred for their long, soft hair that's used to make angora sweaters and other clothing items. Angora rabbits have been found in ancient civilizations and were even held sacred by the Egyptians. The first recorded origins of this breed date back to 1626, when they were first brought to France by a Turkish traveler named Ali Pasha, who had them shipped over with him when he left his country for France. They were then used as livestock before humans began breeding them for their fur quality, which made it easier for people like Louis XIV, King of France, to wear clothes made out of this type of material instead of real silk. Giant Isopod Did you know that the largest crustaceans on Earth are actually isopods? These sea creatures are found in temperate and tropical waters, which means they can be found anywhere from the Atlantic Ocean to the Indian Ocean. The average size of an isopod ranges from 3 inches to 5 inches long, but some specimens have been known to grow up to 15 centimeters. That's longer than your forearm. These fascinating invertebrates lifespan is around 10 years, so they're not exactly known for their long lives. However, it's believed that giant isopods may live longer than humans if we were able to scale up our food intake and find ways around our body's natural aging process. However, this isn't something anyone wants at any cost. Platypus The platypus is a monotreme, meaning it has no spine and lays eggs. It's also the only living representative of its family, the Ornithorhynchidae. Platypuses are found in eastern Australia, including Tasmania, a state on the southeast coast. They're semi-aquatic mammals that spend most of their time foraging in water or mud and come out at night to hunt actively for food. Platypuses have a duck-billed bill that allows them to feed on invertebrates like insects or snails underwater. They also have webbed feet with claws on each toe so they can walk across land more easily when hunting prey during nighttime hours, just like ducks do. Sega antelope it is a critically endangered species of antelope that inhabits the steppes of Eurasia. The Sega antelope is the only species of antelope in which both sexes have horns, and it can be found in Central Asia, from southern Siberia to northern Mongolia and Kazakhstan. The Sega's horns are thick and hard at their bases, but taper to a point at their tips. Females have smaller horns than males do because they do not need them as much for fighting off competitors during mating season, which lasts from November to February. In fact, female sagas only use their horns when defending themselves against predators like wolves or tigers. Dumbo Octopus this has a unique way to communicate. The creature uses its tentacles to mimic sounds and expressions, which it then repeats in an attempt to communicate with other octopuses. It can even make human-like noises that mimic laughter and anger. The Dumbo octopus lives in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California and can grow up to 10 inches long. It's named after Walt Disney's classic cartoon character because of its unusual appearance. It has large eyes and ears, as well as two tentacles on each side of its head that look like floppy ears. Tree Kangaroo It is the largest living marsupial, with a body size of up to 1 meter, 
three feet in length. It lives in the rainforests of New Guinea and Australia. The tail of this animal can reach up to 10 feet long when hanging from a branch. This gives them an advantage over other animals because they can use their tails as an extra set of hands when climbing trees or hanging from branches. These same features also make it difficult for them sometimes because if there aren't enough branches available nearby, then they'll need more than just one set per direction. Mantis shrimp. They are not true shrimp, they're actually crustaceans, which means they have an exoskeleton and internal structure. Their bodies are long and narrow, with huge claws on either side of their heads. The name mantis shrimp comes from the similarity between this creature's appearance to that of a praying mantis. The name mantis shrimp comes from the similarity between this creature's appearance to that of a praying mantis. But mantis shrimps don't look like any kind of insect or arthropod. Leafy Sea Dragon This is the only known species of sea dragon. They are a type of sea slug and are found in shallow waters along the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Leafies have long bodies that can grow up to about two feet long with a tail about as long as their body, making them look like they're wearing clothes. Their bodies are covered with bumps called tubercles, also known as tubercles or knobs. These bumps serve two purposes. They help protect the skin from damage during fights with other fish, and they also act as sensory organs so that leafies know when things like predators or prey are nearby. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It is just a taste of the amazing creatures in our world, and I can't wait to share more with you if you decide to subscribe. If there is anything else you would like to know about these furry or scaly creatures, feel free to leave me a comment below.